welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am currently sitting at my desk. I'm getting ready to upload the um, Sister Lock Q&A video. So by the time you see this video, that video would have been posted. I just came in from um, getting my hair done. I got my third retightening today and this is what we're looking like. Okay, you can see my roots again and everything is just kind of like in place like it should be and um harmony said that my locks are doing quite well so that's always great news but yeah nothing much is going on tonight um i'm hungry but i'm not hungry that makes sense i know um but yeah we're gonna chillax tonight and go ahead and start uploading this video and i will check in with you babes on tomorrow Peace for now. What's going on, babes? What's going on? It is Saturday and your girl has done absolutely nothing. Today has been a day of rest and I have truly enjoyed myself. I'm currently at the bakery. I'm currently at the bakery. I'm about to go in and get some pastries. I've had, I have a taste for like a croissant or something, so. I figured I'll just come to the bakery and get something to um, snack on and then of course go home and cook dinner. I am currently, um, yeah, I'm currently sitting in the car. I'm about to literally walk in in shortly, um, but I wanted to say happy Saturday because I haven't talked to you guys all day. I haven't really, no, I haven't vlogged all day and that's okay and that's okay because you know, it's, it's good to take rest and, um, you know just relax you know i can't move all the time and i actually created a um what is it called um it's on instagram i did a live yesterday and i talked about resting and practicing patience so everything kind of like goes along with each other and i think it's very important that sometimes you just chill out you know like rest yourself don't be so in a hurry to move and you know, just chill out, you know, it's okay to like chill out. So that's what I did today. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go in the bakery and pick up some pastries and then I'm going to head home, which I've been there all day. So, <laughs> you know, and if you're wondering, um, about these sunglasses, they are new. They are from the brand called the Hella, I think. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly just look in the description box. I will link, link these exact sunglasses in the description box below so that you can get your pair. Oh, and I also made a reel uh, with these sunglasses. So if you're watching this video, head over to my Instagram page, drop me three red hearts to let me know that you stopped by from YouTube. All right, so let's go in the bakery and see what we can get or find or Let's see what they have. I hope they still have some stuff because it is five o'clock in the afternoon. Hold, oh, babes. Sunday and I'm on my way to a brunch um, date uh, with one of my friends um, I feel like we have been linking up a lot lately but 
from. It's always a great time to spend time with friends and uh, kind of catch up, especially over the weekend. So I'm on my way to a restaurant. It is a new cuisine uh, spot that I've never tried before. So hopefully everything is exquisite. Uh, but yeah, uh, I did not do an OOTD for the for today because I didn't even think about it, honestly. I, I, I knew I was taking my camera, but I did not think about filming what I am wearing. So hopefully I can get some great pictures and then I'll just insert them somewhere in the video for you guys. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then later on today, I have a esthetician appointment um, for a chemical pill. I think my appointment's at 5.30. So um, I will be seeing Leah today to get my first chemical pill and um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So we, we kind of have a, a, a packed day packed but not packed it's still going to be relaxed and still chill but i do have things going on today so um but yeah let me go ahead and get out of here so that i can get to our reservation on time i'm running a tad bit late and it's not because i was vlogging today it's because your girl just running a little bit late so um i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and i will see you babes at the restaurant peace for now So I went home really quick and did an outfit change because, you know, your girl was dressed to the nines, all right? So I am on my way to Leah, uh, which is my esthetician, uh, to get my very first chemical pill. I'm not nervous, but I'm also like, you know, I don't know what to expect. So, um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to go, but I do plan on, you know, documenting the entire process so that I can give you all the details on you know what to expect and things to consider so um yeah so i'm actually on schedule i'm ahead of schedule my appointment was moved up <laughs> sis was able to get me in at 4 30 instead of 5 30 which was a what a blessing to my soul so i am ahead of schedule um i should be there hopefully in the next um 30 minutes it shouldn't take me that long so i should get there right on time so i am going to focus on driving because you know these maryland streets honey they they be a little treacherous at times and uh people everybody got somewhere to go everybody pulling out everybody doing you know doing a little bit of everything so i'm going to go ahead and focus on driving and i think i will check in with you babes once i get back home because i do not think or feel that I'm gonna be able to 
physically record this process. If I can, I will try to. If not, um, I will definitely give you guys an overview once I'm home and back and settled. All right? So I will check in with you babes a little later on. Peace for now. Hey babes, happy Monday, happy Monday. Just got home not too long ago and I'm about to fix dinner. Um, I wanted to first say hello. Um, of course, you know, this is a continuation of the weekly vlog, but you know, I gotta speak to y'all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and fix dinner and then I think I'm going to give you all an update on the chemical peel process. I realized while editing yesterday that I did not go through um, what the experience was like and uh, kind of like set the tone in terms of expectations. Um, it's not too much of, of anything right now because I haven't started make, seeing any, any changes, uh, but I definitely will give you guys the 411 on the chemical pill. Oh, please. Yes, baby. Hey babes, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. So um, I know yesterday I talked with you guys briefly um, and then I just kind of like cut the camera off because I, I had a phone call come in. So um, I did not end up recording anything else after um, yesterday afternoon. So I figured I would go ahead and um, you know, let you guys in on the, provide you all the details with the chemical pill and um, what happened during my process. So um, chemical pill is just basically a um, technique used to um, smooth out the skin, to basically um, uh, refine or rejuvenate the skin through peeling off the top layer of skin, if that makes sense. I'll be sure to include the, um, the proper definition for you guys so that I can be politically correct. But I got my first one on Sunday and uh, my esthetician Leah performed the uh, technique and everything was smooth. Like I said on Sunday, I really had no expectations. I didn't know, you know, how to feel. And I think it was one of those things where I just kind of like went with the flow. Um, but I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that I finally like marked that off my bucket list because that was actually something that I've always wanted to do. Um, so a little bit about my skin. I had a serious breakout in 2012 after undergraduate school. And um, because of the breakout, um, I had a lot of skin irritation and I scratched the skin. And because I was scratching a lot, um, I began to tear my skin. So I have a lot of scarring on my chest area. Now, since then I have self-treated, um, basically using different types of soaps that has acid um, and then also um, using bio oil, which is um, good for scars. So I have been working on my skin actively, trying to um, get my skin back to a better place. But I figured that the chemical pill would be like a quicker fix. Um, considering the fact that I've been working on my skin for at least 10 years now, I felt that I owed it to myself to um, at least try it out and see you know what happens so um, as of right now I haven't experienced any type of pilling I did get the chemical pill applied to my chest and then also my neck area so as of right now everything still looks the same I'm not sure if it's going to change between now and let's say like the weekend but it is Tuesday and I've had I've, I got the chemical pill on Sunday, so it's been two days. So it's been almost a, a full 48 hours. So I'm hoping that I start noticing a difference like later on in the week. You know, cross my fingers. Um, but yeah, so um, I want to give you guys a close up of my skin so that you all can see um, the areas that I got treated. So this is my chest area and as you can see, I have some darker spots here. And like I said, because I was self-treating, I have been able to successfully brighten my skin naturally. 
and that's just from cleansing the skin and then also moisturizing my skin but I still have a few um, scars from the breakout so these are the things that I am trying to remove or lighten the spots that I want to treat and then on my neck area which I'm trying to adjust you guys on my neck area give me just a moment let me bear with me on my neck area as you can see I do have some hyperpigmentation um, that I would like to erase or remove um, and it's not as bad as it used to be. It used to be a lot worse, um, but I've been able to cleanse the skin and then just kind of like start taking care of it a bit better. So that's why it's not as bad as it used to be. Back you up. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, the process for the chemical pill when I arrived. Uh, Leah cleansed my skin. She went through, she exfoliated and then she cleansed the areas. And then once she cleansed um, the areas that she was going to apply the chemical pill, she applied three layers. And um, between each layer, I believe she waited anywhere between one to two minutes to let the first layer dry and then so on and so forth. So um, I did with the second layer, I started feeling some tingling. So she would ask like from one to 10, how does it feel? Is there any discomfort? And to be quite honest, I didn't experience any discomfort. I wasn't uncomfortable at all. Um, it was really a quick and smooth process. Um, but yeah, I did have like a tingling sensation and, um, she did mention that for the areas that were tingling the most that I needed to be sure that I apply moisturizer to those areas to keep them, um, hydrated. So, um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. I mean, I think my appointment was like at 430. I got in there and I was out like I probably would have been out sooner but when we see each other we catch each other up on everything that's going on so um, of course we were talking laughing and chatting so the appointment lasted probably a lot longer than it needed to but it was a quick process um, so yeah um, if you are interested in getting a chemical pill I would highly suggest do your research I researched on YouTube for years. When I say years, I mean years. Um, I did research. I, um, you know, just read up about it because I knew it was something that I wanted to do. I just had to get into the right position to do it. Um, I've been going to Leah now for about a year. So she and I have built a rapport and I felt comfortable going with working with her and um you know doing the chemical pill with her versus someone else because i trust her work and i trust that she's going to guide me through this process the correct way so um but yeah if you're interested in getting one um definitely do your research if you're in the maryland area and you want to work with an esthetician i will leave leah's information in the description box below along with any links that um anything that i've mentioned throughout the video throughout the weekly vlog they will also be in the description box below so i think that's all for now i'm going to go ahead and close out this weekly vlog because I am on a time crunch. Your girl is trying to get this vlog edited and uploaded for Thursday because I have another vlog that I need to record for either Friday or Saturday release. So your girl is she's putting out the content right she's putting out the content so um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog i pray that you all are doing well wherever you are in the world as i always say take care of yourself and take care of others peace for now Bye.